leave a legs in spirit. Leave a legs. Demo. Leave a legs. What are you doing a legs there? Huh? What are you doing on your feet? Huh? What are you doing here? Huh? What is there? What is there? She doesn't want to listen to us. You wanted to be a sangoma? Yes! Huh? She must work for us. Uh, we want to be here. Oh, Jesus. Amen. In Jesus. Amen. It's over. It's over. Can you just come in? Yes. That demon is hiding in the womb. Come on. There's a demon in the womb there. Why are you hiding here? Why are we pitying him? Huh? 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 Why are you hiding here? Who's the She's troubling us. Huh? When they are here, like we're in, when they are anywhere. Huh? She must suffer. She must suffer. Yeah. Oh, wait now. Let me cut you here. Amen. Uh, it's over. I don't want to waste time here. I'm seeing this lady here. The issue of suffering is over. Uh, because I saw people rejecting you. Yes, it's true. Uh, yes. In your family. So they don't want you. Uh, and now you wanted to live a way white life. Uh, and you told yourself that I must not live this kind of life. What if I can be sick? Uh, yes. That's what you were telling yourself. It's better I try to follow God. This God you are following is God. to bless you. Demo. It's a demo, this one. Uh, uh, you are free. You are free. You are going to be an example in your family. They have rejected you, but they will celebrate you. In the name of Jesus. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Maganenisa. And with me here today is my sister who is located during the service and the Apostle minister upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay. Um, my name is Rathabile. I'm living, I'm, I come from Limpopo, but I live in Rabarish. Today during the service, the man of God located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, the man of God um, prophesied me about my rejection in the past and disappointment in my past life. Um, what he said is true because... I've been facing disappointment from my past relationship and also from my family, so I confirm it's true. And how, has, how long has this been happening and how has it affected you? Uh, it happened since 2011, I think, because I came to Charis in 2016, somewhere there. So I just decided that I'm following God. I no more want to live my past life. So the prophecy was true. Yes. And how do you feel after the man of God located you and ministered upon your life? Uh, I feel very positive because I was so worried about my life. So that the, uh, the prophecy that the man of God said, it gave me hope and have more faith in God. And what words of encouragement do you, do you have for the viewers? Okay, uh, what, I can see, what I can say to the viewers, I can say they must not stop following God, uh, trust in God. One day everything will be fine. Amen. I saw this lady. Uh, you want to say the womb issue. You, there's a problem here in your womb here. Yes, sir. Uh? yes, sir. Did you go to the doctor? We let doctor. Yes, sir. He said what? But it's, 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 it's just said that I have an infection. In your womb. Yes, infection, karapopen. So you saw prophet yesterday. Sorry. What prophet Maban? You professor, you prophet, professor yesterday. Prophet Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Yes. So, yes. this thing, I remove it now. Amen. Come on. Touch your stomach. Because it is the one that is bringing things that come out here. He always releases things. Amen. Huh? 
Amen. And uh, you are worried. You are worried. It takes away your confidence. But today, God is fighting for you. Amen. Amen. I stop this thing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Imakananisa. And with me here today is my sister who was located during the service by the Apostle who then ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay. <coughs> my name is Lavonia. I'm, I come from Bloemfontein. Today during the service, the man of God located you and ministered upon your life. Would you kindly please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay. <coughs> he prophesied. He confirmed that uh, I have this the slimes that, uh, like when he asked me that I went to the doctor and what did the doctor see and then I told him that the doctor said that I have an infection in my womb and then he prophesied that I have the slimy things that are coming out of me and it's true because it's not only slimy things but it also had blood in it and it always had to make it's like well, every time when I went to the bathroom it always used to be painful but I, it's like I always cried out to God to help me because sometimes it feels like even the doctors can, couldn't even assist me so yeah that's what it felt it, it was actually very painful because I, it felt like I was going through it alone but I thank you God for listening to me yes and please tell us how has it been affecting you how has it been affecting me? It has Never. been affecting me uh, because I've been struggling to conceive and I know that's the reason why I haven't been conceiving because I've always been having pains and then this infection, the infection doesn't stop. Every time I get like an almost, after every three weeks I would get infection. So it would be, even when, sometimes it would affect me to the point that even when my husband is at home, that when, 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 it's, uh, when we want to have intimate time that I wouldn't be able to because then I would feel that the infection would be too much and then I would have to restrain myself from him so it would it would really affect me a lot so I, it, because it, it, because when it's like that it's like sometimes it feels like uh, the husband thinks that I don't want to be intimate so I, it was really hurting me but because God knew my situation I just honor him today Amen. And how long have you been trusting in God for the fruits of the womb? I've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for the uh, because I uh, since we've been we've been together for five years, I've been trusting him for five years now, and that I've never lost hope in him because I knew that the God that I serve is a mighty God, and that He always hears my prayers. Amen. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered deliverance upon your life regarding something that's been in your stomach and hindering the fruits of the womb? Wow, it was amazing. I never even expected it. But the moment he was speaking to, I thought he was speaking to someone else. But then I thank God and I glorify his name because it, when he spoke to me, I was like, thank you, Jesus. It's like I, I almost, I, I, it's like I felt such a rush in my body and I was like, thank you, God. So, yeah, it really, it was, it's a really an honor and a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. And how would you encourage somebody who's going to come across this clip? I would, I would encourage them to never stop believing in God and to always pray. Never stop praying because prayer and faith is a substance in life. That's what I've learned in life. So yeah, never stop believing in God. Can we just come here, my girl? Yes, run here. God is giving you a house. Eh? Hey! Hey! You have received a house. Wow, my chintlo. Look here. You have been crying. Hallelujah. To get a house. It's true. true. Eh? It's true. You say this is small. You want the bigger one. That's true. Eh? That is true. I want to say you give us a testimony. Put a favor back. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Imakaninisa. And with me here today is my sister who received a prophecy from the Apostle today. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Mpone Mabora and then I come from Johannesburg in Midrand. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life. 
Kindly please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, so the apostle called me out and then he uh, gave me a prophecy that he sees me receiving a house, a bigger house than the one that I'm staying at now because then I've been crying for a bigger one since I'm taking care of my family. So that's the prophecy that I got. <laughs> and how long have you been trusting in God for a bigger and better house? It's been long, since last year, every day I'm praying that, okay, I just need a house that a place has like space and a garden for my child to play on. So I'm so happy. <laughs> and how do you feel that the man of God located you and spoke to you regarding something that you've been desiring? I am so happy. My spirit is uplifted. I'm just waiting to receive now in faith and in prayer. <laughs> And how would you encourage somebody who's going to come across this clip? I think I will just encourage everyone to not give up. Don't look at your finances, the current situations that you think you're facing. Uh, just trust God and then he will do it for you. Like he's doing it for me. <laughs> Did you lose the child? Because I see blood. Did you yes. lose the child? Yes, but I lose him 2017. Huh? You lose the child? Yes. yes. Because I'm still hearing you when you are sleeping. You hear a child crying. And this always reminds you. Huh? So, devil is tormenting you. Go and fight for you. Eh? Your enemies are defeated. Your enemies are defeated. Your enemies are defeated. Touch here. Because there's something that moves here. I stop this thing now. You are free. Go back. Amen. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Makanenisa. With me here today is my sister who has located you in the service by the Apostle who ministered upon your life. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Bumran Ragmana. I came from Kuvu. Today during the service, Apostle JB Makanenisa located you and ministered upon your life. Could you kindly please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it? He says, I, I lost a child. And it's true, I lost a child in 2017 May. And he even said he sees something here in my stomach, in my womb. And it's true, I was feeling something here in my womb. And that, is, that was very painful. But after he prayed for me, I'm free. And how has the issue of losing a child been affecting you? Yeah, it affects me a lot because uh, always I was thinking of my baby. Always when I see the baby, I think of him. And he even uh, prophesied it. Or always when I hear the voice of the baby cry, it reminds me my late son. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life? I feel free and I thank God uh, for, re for revealing this uh, prophecy. So I thank God and even the pastor. And what words of encouragement do you have for the viewers? How would you encourage somebody who's watching this? Mm, I would just tell them oh, don't give up or... Oh. Everyone who's got a, a problem, even if you don't have a problem, don't give up. Come to Charis. God is here. Gonna re you're going to uh, receive your deliverance. Mm. You see that other one there? Yes. Uh, brother, come. Yes. The one who's wearing black. You are appearing to Yes. I want to shake hands with you. Where is Andres? Address, uh, come and take over. Because you are here, I'm shaking my, my brother. From today, poverty is defeated. Eh? Amen. Uh, Thank you, Prophet. Uh? Thank you, Prophet. Poverty is defeated. Thank Amen. you, Prophet. Amen. Uh, shake it with me. Poverty is what? It's defeated. As long as you've been searching for a job. Amen. And now it's over now. Amen. Amen. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Cherry's Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Makananisa. And with me here today is my brother who received a prophecy from Prophet Andrew Simon. So please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I'm, I'm Sboni Sopegu, I'm coming from Pretoria. Today during the service, the man of God located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. Um, the prophet called me today and he told me that like uh, poverty is over I'm in my life and I will get a job. And then I confirmed that because like it's been so long I'm not working. I get a job, part-time job, but it will end soon. So like today 
um, located me and tell me that everything is over and I thank God for it. My life will change, it just me. How has the issue of unemployment been affecting you? Like it affects me a lot because like I've been struggling getting help from people and um, I, I, my mother is a single parent. I've been supported by my mother for so long. Like we are three brothers, nobody is working. But today it's over with poverty in my family. Amen. And how do you feel that the man of God located you and spoke to you and broke a family curse that's been affecting you? I was so excited. I was so, so excited because I've been waiting for this day. I've been going to different churches, different churches like they don't get help. But today I'm happy and I believe that's going to change my life. Amen. And how would you encourage somebody who's watching this video? Um, I will tell you people you are watching at home, come and visit Charity Mission Church and your story will change.